What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to TMTV 2020. And I'm still in the city with one of my guys. He just came back from Houston for like a visit. And I'm gonna let him introduce himself to us once again because he's been on my channel several times. The floor is yours, bro. How you doing, Dominique Primer? From Oklahoma City, you know. Help my boy TM. We're going to make some more, some more, some more uh, noise. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you so much for, for joining me today, though. Um, how you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm good. From Can't complain. OKC to Houston. Yeah. Yeah. What is it like? You know, it's different. Out there? The grind different. Everything I had just turned up everything. You mm -hmm. know, I told you I was going to do it. And we're not there and I've been doing it. So it's it's coming along like it's supposed to. Wow. I'm happy. That's, that's good. I'm happy to hear that, man. First and foremost, what, what drew you to boxing in the first place? Uh, I want to say just fighting. I think I was just always fighting, you know, growing up fighting. And I was, I was big in basketball. Like, basketball is my lane. But then, you know, went to a boxing gym, kind of got touched up. And then I was like, okay, this, wow. this ain't going to happen again. So this is something I want to do. So moving forward, I just stuck with boxing. Want to uh, uh, perfect perfect my craft with everything I did, so now I know I was actually pretty good at it, and using my athleticism to kind of translate trans uh, translate into the basketball. I mean, to the boxing is is going real good. I'm gonna let you know this is not interview; it's a conversation. Because, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you grew up in Oklahoma City, Kansas, Kansas City, yeah, oh, Kansas yeah, City, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Kansas City, Kansas, Wondai County is originally where uh, well, my I was born in Wondai County. Uh, but yeah, I've been I've been in the city for a while. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I like it out wow. here. So growing up in Kansas, a little bit of Oklahoma City, has all those places toughened you up a little bit for you know for to prepare you for what you're about to do in future, like a boxing. Uh, yeah, I mean everything everything did actually trials and tribulations. You know, like the last couple months I done lost some big time losses, mom, dad, and my little sister. So, and that was here, and yeah. they was here with me. So you know. Just lose, losing that and then making a, a brand new transition to Houston and being able to, you know, start fresh. Start fresh and, and stay locked all the way in with no excuses, man. So I, I'm excited. I'm happy about it. And, you know, it, everything I've been doing right now is just staying locked in, staying, staying the course. That's what's up. What really made you to make that decision to just to leave OKC for Houston? Uh, well, it was really kind of like somebody somebody reached out to me, told me I need to come out there and train. And I went out there and spar first day at the Charlos. Uh, that's Charlos. where I'm at now. I train at the Charlos gym. And I went out there and then everything went good from there. Wow. So did you miss anything about OKC? Nah, nah, not really. I ain't gonna lie. Nah. I mean, this is always gonna be home, though. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. But uh, it's, you come back seeing the same old, same old thing, you know. And then moving out of here and seeing something totally different. So I'm excited. So I, you seen life treating you? Great. The people. Great. Uh, I'm building. A, I'm building a good name for myself. Um, right now, I have a lot of a lot of different boxing promotion pr promoters reaching out to me and a couple uh, TV uh, TV uh, interviews and stuff like that. So coming up. So everything's going pretty good. Just staying the course, staying locked in. That's what's up. Any challenges in Houston? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's a totally different ball game. I mean, like I said, I've only been in boxing going on two years now. Well, it just marked two years. So going out there fighting guys who's pay-per-view and big-time uh, boxers out there, man, it's, it's, it's always going to be a challenge. Um, but I'm not running for no challenge. You know, it's, it's not doing nothing but building me, helping me get better. So, as far as boxing is concerned, right? Is there any major, like a big difference when it comes to boxing in OKC? Major, major difference, major uh, difference. Um, and I, and I, like I said, no, no, no diss to OKC, but it's a lot of guys out here that's, you know, that's trying to, that's trying to build their name, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's grind differently, but in Houston, it's a lot of guys that's hungry. Mm. It's a lot of guys that's hungry, and you got different styles. Oklahoma don't have a lot of different styles. Oklahoma's not a boxing state. But moving to, to Houston, you can travel from this gym to this gym to this gym, and it's all different styles. And it's it's great work. You know, it's always going to be great work. And at the end of the day, just just learning different things. So how do you cope? You know, living. You know, Oklahoma City is like a you know, okay 
I don't want to call it a small city. Yeah. Houston is a big city. Yeah. How did you cope when you get to Houston? Stay out the way. Um, I stay out the way. I stay locked in in the gym. Just keep training and uh, just just perfecting on everything I was doing here wrong and building my craft, learning from all my mistakes and and building off to that. Wow. And like you said, you said Houston is a very competitive boxing city. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as as, as far as uh, adaptation is concerned, how are you adapting to the new environment? Like, uh, I mean, it's a it's an adjustment for sure. Um, but like I said, wherever I go, I'm gonna make a mark. Um, mm. And not saying that cocky, just being real. Like, I'm gonna make a mark just off of my work ethic. Mm. Um, my work ethic is gonna do the talking for everything I do. I really don't have to do too much talking. When I go out there, they knew I meant business, and they know I mean business when I step in the gym. And I carry myself, you know, as a as a leader outside the gym. So just knowing I'm building those connections and big time guys out there meeting millionaires and chopping up with millionaires pertaining sponsorship and stuff like that is going really good. So wow. can't complain. Thank God for everything that's going on. So what does boxing mean to you? Because you, you left OKC, yeah. you left your people, you know, friends, yeah. your family. And let me ask you this before you answer that. What was your friends and family reactions to when you told them that you live in OKC, uh, so, man, so I mean, Houston to pursue your boxing. I've, I've had, I've had, I've had, I've had people in my corner that that's helped me out and and was happy for me. Then I had a lot of people that's like, man, family, like, man, I don't think you should do that. You know, a lot of stuff was it was hindering me at times, like hurting me uh, mentally and uh, emotionally. But at the end of the day, it's just staying locked in and, and pursuing the bigger goal. I know everything in the, in the long run is going to make sense and it's going to pay off, so that's all that matters. Um, to those that, that feel some type of way, everything's going to pay off soon, so. Uh, so how do you handle pressure over there? Because, you know, you left OKC, right? Yeah. To, to, to pursue your boxing dream. Yeah. So how do you handle the pressure? Like, okay, you just got to be successful. Like, you know, how do you, how do you calm yourself down? Without... I mean, it, it's one of those things. It, it, it comes with it. Uh, it's, it's good and bad with everything, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's about just staying locked in. Mm. Staying locked in and, and staying the course with everything, and you know everything is gonna pay off when it's supposed to, you know? So that's that's really the only thing that I, I go through quite a bit. So take me through your, you know, your daily routine, your like your training. With boxing? Yeah. Um, morning I run, I get good morning workout in. Uh, Eat me a little smoothie every now and then, to eat some ginger, a um, little turmeric, and I get my day going. Um, I, some days I can run six, seven miles a day. Some days I might run nine. It just depends how, what the flow is. I don't have no set miles or I run. I just want to be in the best shape I am. I can be in because I know when it's time for me to get called, I'm going to be ready. You got to stay ready. So, uh, um, You working with coaches out there or just one coach? Um, I'm working with a couple coaches. A couple of coaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to, yeah. you know, share some, you know. Uh, yeah. Shout out Coach Dom. Uh, okay. That's one of my main coaches I've been training with. Um, but I've been in uh, Maine. I went to Maine, been training over there. Got a little work in over there, some sparring over there. But uh, Coach Dom at Charlos, shout out him and Coach Mike. Uh, so how do you stay motivated? How do you, what keeps you going? My mama, you know? my, 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 my loved ones that I've lost. Uh, it's that's my motivation that, that that makes me grind and makes me do what I do because at the end of the day, losing them just put a more a, more of a fuel under me uh, to make me grind harder. You know, I, I done lost my backbone, so at the end yeah. of the day, everything I can't lose nothing else. You know, um, and I'm not gonna lose myself. I might I might bend. You know, what I'm saying sob a little bit, but never gonna never gonna break uh, under no circumstance for any situation. So. It's just, like I said, when you, different levels come with different devils. Yeah. And I just feel like elevating in life right now, um, when, you're going to, when you're trying to get to where you want to get to, you're going to go through the worst. Um, and it's okay. You're going to go through the worst, but it's how you, how you bounce back after that. So what's the ultimate goal for you? Like, leaving OKC to Houston, like, mm -hmm. what are you trying to achieve? Like, um, well, I got some, some, some big stuff in store, actually, right now. But... Uh, like I said, just staying locked in and staying focused and uh, showing the world that I, what I'm capable of doing um, bit by bit and then being able to put on for the guys that that's only been boxing for a couple of years. You know, when I feel like when you put your mind to it and you really grind hard for it, you can you can achieve a lot. And uh, I feel like I've been doing that. Um, 
by myself. I mean, you know, uh, and I just work hard. I don't think I'm better than nobody, but I, I, I work my ass off. Uh, so do you have like a plan, like, okay, in the next five years, uh, you want to have your first TV file, or you want to talk No, not five years. No, uh, I'm just, yeah, I don't want to sound cliche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, no, nah, five years is a little push, but no, nah, uh, like I said, it's all God's speed. Um, at the end of the day, I, I think I have something coming up. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think I got something big coming up that's yeah. locked in, so, you know, cro fingers crossed and just staying locked in, getting ready for it. Wow. So let's go to the boxing scene, you yeah. know, pro boxing scene. Can you give me some of your, you know, some of the fighters that you're you, you feeling right now as far as a boxing scene is concerned? That I like? That you like, yeah. Um, well, man, I really like, uh, I'm really, I'm really a big fan of uh, Tank. Um, Tank? That's, yeah, that's yeah, my favorite yeah. fighter. Um, everybody in Houston said the same thing. That's who you, that's who I fight like. I'm a real big fan of fight of uh, Tank. I like Frank. I like Abdul. Uh, that, that reminds me, well, what's your thought on that fight? On, on Tank, Tank versus Frank, uh, Frank, yeah, yeah. I knew Frank wasn't ready for him. I mean, I've been, in, I've, I've been around. I've, I've, I've seen different boxers. I knew that was going to be a, a major, a major, uh, a major knockout coming yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, but all hats off to Tank. I, I mean, to Tank and Frank. I mean, at the end of the day, it was a bag. I mean, I, I don't knock no man for trying to go uh, chase it, chase his thing. You know, at the end of the day, so it's, it is what it is. Wow. So, what makes you happy? Boxing. Boxing. Yeah. Boxing. And being able to, boxing and being able to see my kids and being able to uh, do what I need to do um, for my family and know that I'm grinding for a bigger purpose than me. Wow. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Yeah. Don't say ah, pizza. Man. Uh, Country fried steak, chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak. You know, I gotta stay away from it though, but that's one of my favorite foods for sure. Wow. Your favorite place to go to? Say you wanna go on vacation? The gym. I ain't no, gonna lie. No, no, no. I'm, no. You think I'm playing? <laughs> no. Like, right now. I understand. I'm saying, say you wanna go on vacation, right? Nah, see, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Right now, this right now this is a uh, this is grind mode, so it's not grind really mode? it's not really um vacation mode right now. It's just straight grind mode. Hey, I'm good, I'm good. It's, it's just straight grind mode. So at the end of the day, I'm not thinking about no vacation right now. I know my vacations is gonna come once I when I stay locked in and handle business. I feel like once you once you get comfortable, you yep. know a lot of people get comfortable when they get to another level. Um, yep. I know I'm at another level right now, boxing and IQ and platform wise, you know, so a lot of people get comfortable with that. They 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 big on social media. I'm not a big social media guy. Yeah. Um and I, I know I have a pretty good following that follows me and it looks up to me and is waiting to see me hit that next stage. But as far as uh, going and, and making vacations and stuff like that, that's not even on my my mind right now. Honestly, I, my vacation was moving to Houston and locking in on my mental in the gym. Let me ask you this one more time because what keeps you motivated? Because like, I don't know, like, when you first told me that you're going to Houston, I had a little bit of doubt. I was like, everybody did. Like he not I'm being honest nowhere. with you, right? Yeah. But now I have to to rethink, and I'm like, if you really mean what you said, and you go after that with everything you got, yeah, you can make anything happen. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. The impossible can be possible for sure. So where do you get that drive from? Um, it sounds like crazy that you talk about, not to cut you short, yeah. it sounds crazy that you was talking about the Frank versus uh, Tank fight. Um, it was a press conference that was going on and Tank said, told Frank, like, I've been boxing all my life. You just now starting. Yeah. If I'm in your shoes, I'm grinding. I'm grinding. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm grinding. And I feel like he was talking directly to me. So. Um, and it's crazy because every now since that fight since they had that press conference and that's just more fuel to me um, Just being able to show somebody like that or not so much to prove him wrong. Just be able to provide uh, Show people around the world that you can you can do anything if you really put your mind to it You really lock in and that's what I'm here to do. Wow I've only been how doing do it you, how do you years. remember when it comes to boxing? Uh, He built it for nothing. He came from nothing. He, Cause she got a good storyline, though. Yeah, he came from nothing. He really came like, from nothing. I can't even wait for you to have your first pro fight, honestly. Cause from you being losing your sister, your mom, yeah. and you left OKC, 
to go pursue boxing dream in Houston. Yeah. That's like a story, good, uh, like a American comeback story. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like the comeback kid. Like that's yeah. that's that's so inspirational. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. A lot of people ain't gone through what I've been through, and I'm not comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges, but at the end of the day, it's it's different. You know, it's different uh, when you don't have your backbone there. Uh, um, we don't got nobody that you can call on the normal and say, hey, mama, hey, daddy, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, little sis. So that's my drive, man. Uh, and that's why I feel like everybody, you know, I, I don't I don't disrespect no no Oklahoma boxers, but man, I, I'm the, I feel like I'm one of the best boxers out of Oklahoma. You know what I'm that's saying? That's at the end of the day. And other people just have different platforms. Yeah. My time gonna come. I don't. I can't watch the next man. So, time. what do you want your story to inspire? When it's said and done, like okay, those ones who's who's really at the bottom, bottom, like coming from nothing. Like wow. I really came from being homeless, living in shelters, growing up. So those ones who who can relate to what I relate to and feel how I felt those those sleepless night and, and no food on those plates. That's why I'm, I'm grinding for those. You know what I'm saying? I'm not grinding for. The, the big lights and to do all this, do all that. I'm grinding because I know <clears throat> I, I got I got a lot of people that's, that's looking up to me. So, uh, your favorite car, bro? Your favorite car? Favorite car? Yeah. If you have to, you know, the money counts. You want to buy, you know, uh, you want to Spain, Spain, and buy that car. I want a Lambo. Lambo? Yeah, Lambo. That's, that's a fast car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice little Lambo. Oh. Do something do something crazy to it. My boy got a Lambo, so I seen his Lambo. I'm like, oh yeah, I need I need something like this. He has something that's different though. He got a different Lambo. It's, that's what's up. It's crazy. Is it London Way? Huh? London Way? No, no, no. Uh Joel. Joel? Yeah, Joel? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. He got something different. So he what got... do you do outside boxing in Houston, man, bro? Come on, man. man. <laughs> I you wish. can't just be boxing in the morning, boxing in the afternoon, boxing at night. Man, what do you do for those, for fun? For those people that know me, that's watching this interview, I mean, tell him, tell him. I mean, what do you do? What do you? Come on, man. Do you go out just to chill out? Just you know, do you, do you go to the games? Do you you know, no, I mean, something I, I, like I that. I step out every now and then. Yeah. And I step out, and then when I get into the, when I step out, I tell myself, Nah, this ain't even. This ain't even me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of transitioned from what I used to be out here, and I know it was a bigger picture than what, what I'm trying to do now. Wow. And I know going to clubs and partying and drinking and all that, that's not where it's at. So I know wow. boxing out there and then ch changing from what I was doing out here to out there is is, is beneficial, wow. for sure. Big fight coming up tonight, man. Belanga Canelo, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Canelo for sure. You got Canelo? Um, yeah, I got Canelo. Because I don't like people who talk a lot, okay. you know? Um, People know me. Man, I, I might joke around a lot. From Brooklyn, man. You yeah, know that's Brooklyn cool. people. I know a lot of they, Brooklyn they, people they that talk. And I know some Brooklyn people that's that's with it, that's quiet. You okay. know. Um, but Berlanga is a real good fighter. But I mean, like he's human too. He get caught with punches yeah. and stuff too. So at the end of the day, he he's one of those ones who could could upset Canelo. You never know. Boxing, you know, boxing how it goes. So that's just. I got Canelo though. I got Canelo. So, if you had to put your money tonight, that's my that's one of my favorite fighters. Wow. Uh, yeah. Give me your top five one more time, man. Because you know, Canelo. Maybe change or yeah, yeah. And I same. actually said one wrong name too. Okay. Canelo. I gotta go Tank. Uh, this ain't in order. Okay. I gotta in go. It, uh, no particular order. Terrence Crawford for sure. Okay. I gotta go Terrence Crawford. I, I like Boots. Boots. Um. Uh. Abdullah Mason. Mason. Yeah, top, yeah, yeah, top. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my father smooth. Do you have you heard about this guy, uh, Malik Montgomery? Nah. Nah. If I ain't gonna lie. 18, I know. That's cool. I mean, that's cool. It's a it's a lot of people I know that's fighters that they got a lot of big time records, records or solid records, but they not really fight nobody, man. Like I, yeah, they not really fight nobody. I just seen a couple fighters as pros, and I just spar with a couple pros too. That's that's big time. That's what's up. That's and what's up. So beside Houston, have you have did you travel to other stages just to, to see what they got going on? Like yeah, I, was, I went to the Mecca. I was in Vegas. Vegas? Yeah, oh, I was in Vegas. Stop. I trained out Floyd, there. Uh, Floyd. Yep. I was training with Cormel. Oh. Uh what I do was, you think about Cormel? He's nice. He's sure? Because 
No, he's Looking not. at some of his fights, like uh, he's Man, fighting he's young. some. He's, he's, he's young. young. I know, but he's fighting some of these. Yeah, that's that, retired, that's that's a lot of. You gotta think, uh, man. That's Mexico. a lot of. That's a lot of boxers. Like mm. that's a lot of fighters out here that's that's that, that's building a record. That's what that's what pros do. People don't understand that. That's what pros do. They build mm. their record. They they go pound on somebody that they know they can whoop on, and then they build it and they build it. To me, I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Me. I, I want those fights. I want the that's dog right. fights. You know, I want I want those from the jump, but that's not how it goes. But I'm not running from no I'm not running from no competition either. Um, I don't want to be able to get into a fight and just know it's gonna be a walkover. Well, I want to be able to really yeah, put you know, it on, you know like, yeah. to work on my IQ, see where my IQ is really at, and, and and show people my power and and my speed. You know. So, so, so what's your thought on um, amateur boxers trying to have like a like a 50 and no on beaten records. They don't uh, want to take a hell. No, I mean, it is what it is. I, you know, I just stay in my lane. I don't even want to, I really don't get into other boxers because as a boxer, I don't, a lot of boxers be talking about everybody. I just want to stay in my lane and, and build what but I need I'm to build. But I'm talking about amateurs though. Like, I, I really think it's a, they want to have a 60. I'm like, no, this. No, nah, it's cool. I mean, every. I mean, you got to think. You got pros. It's like the stage for you to learn. Lomachenko, he had over 200 fights. But he didn't have 200. I know. It. It don't. It he took some it. loss. You gonna lose. Yeah. I, and, and amateurs is not about losing. It's about. It's a lesson. Lesson. You're that's what I'm saying. You learning. So, with me, I don't care. Like, I took a loss right after my mom died yeah. to a bum. How did you, Let me ask you. How did you come back from that, though? Uh. I, I don't think I should have fought at the time I fought. I said it. Yeah, you I told did. somebody that, you that knew you are like, you need that break, man. Yeah, and dude that was trash. Be, he sucked. It can't be your, like, even though if you win that fight, you're not your real self. It's yeah, not like yeah. a, you're he trying sucked. to prove something wrong. Nah. Yeah, he is trash. I don't even remember his name, but he was trash. But is he from out here? Nah, he's from Kansas. So. Kansas? Yeah, oh, he's okay. trash. But he's from Kansas, but he's all bruised up. I ain't oh, had no okay. bruise on me. I was, oh. you know, I was mentally damaged like right before the fight man i, I said that where well, my family usually sit usually I said sit that. at <clears throat> it's no, that's no how you don't need i was good though but where my family usually sit at i looked over there my mama and sister was not there wow. and i it just literally knows not hit the ring stay focused in it the was ring, like man, bro yeah Shh. you gotta stay focused yeah, but buddy was trash ring. if we run it back i'm gonna beat his ass so what advice will you give uh other young boxers from smaller city like okc just keep that's going. trying to make that you just know keep big, going big Keep, decision like you make to keep Houston. going S separate yourself take take that jump uh even when you feel like people is against you the world is against you you gotta take that leap that leap of faith um and keep god first because at the end of the day when you feeling like ain't nobody with you you got somebody with you god with you um and i understand that god is with me so regardless if i'm got nobody my mom or daddy ain't man here i got god with me uh it's res i'm resilient you know what i'm saying it's, I bounce back from what I, you know, from 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 bad things. So that's just how you bounce back. But like I said, man, just keep going. Keep put trust in yourself, put faith in yourself, and put the work in. That's Everything gonna pay off the right way, that's the right work. You know. What's your, what's your favorite place to eat in Houston? Favorite restaurant? Man, I would be lying if I told you. Well, the only place I go is to to James James Harden restaurant. Uh, James Harden 13. restaurant. Thirteen. Did you have you met him? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's family. That's family. That's, that's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. like yeah, that's family. But uh, yeah, Thirteens. So if y'all ever need a food spot in Houston, go to Thirteens. Get those wings. They crazy. You hear me? They crazy. That's crazy. Um, before I let you go, do you have any last word for your fans, upcoming boxers? That, you for know, my boxing fans? Yeah. Uh, I miss the city. It feel good being number one in Oklahoma. Uh, but I'm coming with a lot more heat. I'm coming with a lot of heat. And uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to show why, why I'm the best out of Oklahoma. I don't care about what nobody else is doing. It's going to show do why, I'm the, why I'm the best out of Oklahoma. Yeah. And that's all that matters. You know, it's, it's not about being the best here. It's about being one of the top in the world. Right. Um, and being one of the top in the world, that just comes with politics and stuff like that, in my opinion. But it's about making sure... Your family is good. That's good. You know, I really don't care about no rankings. If we've been completely honest, it's it, it's good to be ranked in the top five, top ten, whatever it is in the world. But at the end of the day, I want to go make that money to be able to provide for my kids in the long run. Boxing ain't forever, um, so you gotta you gotta get out of what you can get out of it when you can. Watch you in it. So yeah. that's that's just my mindset with everything too. That's what's up. Your last word before we call it quick. 
Uh, Advice for the people, the coaches. Man. Anybody in Oklahoma City, you know, friend and family. Everything, I got this tattooed on my hand, man. Life is a love-hate. You know, they're going to love you or they're going to hate you. Or they're going to love and hate you at the same time. You know, but it's just how you how you bounce how you bounce back from everything and how you how you see it uh just keep going well, whatever you're going through man everybody go through ups and downs it, it comes with it comes with life um when you want when you want better you can't get mad when when the bad happens so you know just keep getting better man just stay locked in stay focused stay away from the frivolous relationships because it's a lot of those yeah. it's a lot of those that's why i stay to myself um shout out my dog zero out in out in houston you know what I'm saying? Shout out Zero. Uh, a solid one. Shout out Coach Dom. Shout out Coop. Shout out everybody that's been showing me love in Houston. You know? Uh, big My big bro AK. One of the main ones that I really want to shout out. Just because I wouldn't be none of this if it wasn't for big bro AK. And that's James Harden, big brother. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't be none of this right now if it wasn't for him. So, you know? Uh, and that's another thing that I go through too. And I think about all the time. Just think about pushing forward because... He, he he put a lot into me. Yeah, so, he inspired me, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate did. that. Like people think you I'm did. people people mis misconstrue how I talk and how I am or how they see me. Like coaches and all types of shit. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but at the end of the day, deep down, they don't know me. They just judging me by the by, by the cover of me. They they really don't know what I've been through. They don't know how how I move. So, you know, and it's a lot of because I didn't touch up a lot of their fighters too. You know, but we will get into that. But yeah, like I said, man, that's, I just want to say I appreciate everybody that's been supporting me. Um, those that's been hating on me, I appreciate y'all too because that's just more fuel to what I need to do. And I know y'all going to hate it when I really make my name. So that's that's really what it is. I can't wait, bro. No, nah, I appreciate now, you. We're going to be praying for you. Yes, you sir. Know, yes, sir. All your dream and aspiration yeah. that you went out there to Houston to achieve will come to pass. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that, man. Like I said. It's going to be a great story, man, bro. It's, it's, it's something big coming. Like, so. yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For your time, man. It's a privilege to have Yeah, yeah, yeah. On TMTV 2020. My dog. So we see you next time, bro. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yes, All right, big dog. Yes, sir.